Hello and welcome to this video. If you're here, it means you want to learn all about the London system. In this video, you will learn the London system, which will more or less consist of these moves. I will teach you all about it, what you have to do, what you have to do in response to what black can do, and this is a great opening. Uh, it's been played by some of the top players in the world, by Magnus Carlsen on his way to the uh, World Blitz Championship, to the World Rapid Championship. You will find many games by, by Grishu, by Karakin, by Caruana. Almost all the top players have used it from uh, from time to time. And you will find old champions like Alakine, Rubenstein, Bronstein. They have all used this opening. And I will teach you all about it. And this opening has served me well. Once I picked it up, uh, it really improved my, especially my Blitz. And I got my best score in 2013. I came second in the Icelandic Blitz Championship which always has a lot of strong grandmasters. So great opening, which will serve you well. And let's get into it. Pay attention and we will learn the London system. So let's get down to business. What is the London system and why should we play it? Well, uh, the London system is, and we could call it a system opening. Uh, because most of the time we will play the same moves with the white pieces. We'll play d4. And more often than not, uh, in some order or, or the other, the move order sometimes doesn't matter, but we'll go over that, of course. But more or less, in most lines, this is what you will play with white. You will put your bishop on f4. You will set up uh, this triangle here. And your minor pieces will come out with the bishop to d3 sometimes to e2, most often to d3, the knight will come to d2, will castle, and many times will make a square for the bishop with h3, and this is most of the time uh, played against the knight on f6 coming to h5, trying to get our bishop. So this is the London bishop, and this is the London setup that most of the time we will be aiming for. And this we can play against most black openings. And from here, there are various plans we can expand in the center, we can play the queen to e2 or c2. Many times we expand on the queen side. Sometimes we expand in the center and the rooks can come to the center files. So as you can see, white will most of the time have a very, very solid position and you will very often know what to do. Now, many people think this is uh, boring or, or, or many people have a bias against system openings, but this has become a very uh, yeah, potent weapon for, for many players. For, uh, like I said, for Magnus Carlsen, he used it, especially in the uh, shorter time controls. And this is not an opening uh, without Venom, as we'll definitely see. Um, but why should we play the London system? Uh, let's say we play d4 and we play the main lines with c4. Now, it's black who's choosing the battleground. Let's say he goes c5. He is choosing the opening. Okay, we can play knight f3 or d5. If we play d5, once again it's black. He will play. He can play the Benko Gambit with b5. He can play uh, a Benoni with e6. He can play e5, play the Jack Benoni. Same. Um, and against these, we have to learn lines. Uh, let's say he goes for g6. Uh, we play the main lines, knight c3. He can go for the King's Indian with bishop g7. He can go for the Grunfeld. And against these, we have to have lines. But also, there are lines, of course, with uh, e6, and from here, black has uh, a white choice. He can go for uh, the Nimso Indian. He can uh, play d5, go for the Queen's Gambit. So ag against all these lines, we have to learn what to do. But when we play the London system, we're taking the battle to our battleground because we are choosing the system. We will play the London. It's up to you to adjust. So that's a very good thing about the London system and it will, it will serve you well uh, for your career. But now let's uh, see uh, what black can do and go over uh, what we will be seeing in future videos. So let's see more or less what we will uh, be dealing with. Um, what uh how we will break down the videos so we will open up with d4 now what can black do um 
we will have most of the time d5, we will have knight f6 openings, the Indians, either with e6 or g6. So uh, d5 is uh, the most common move, and here we will play bishop f4 on the second move. Um, and this is, yeah, the, mo the modern treatment of uh, the London. We will go over why this move order is uh, important. Now black has many choices here, which we will go over. Uh, again, most of the time we are developing in the same way, but we will have to uh, account for black going with an early c5. And when he does that, uh, quite often uh, we will see him going with queen b6 in some lines. And this is uh, something we have to learn to deal with. Uh, black is attacking the pawn on b2. And we will learn to deal with this most often with queen b3. Uh, there are also lines where uh, black will put out the bishop first, bishop f5. And this can be with or without knight to f3, but most often uh, I like to go for this uh, end game here, which is very favorable for white. Even though we have the double pawn, so we open the a-file. We have this very strong London bishop, and we will push this pawn. We will go over ideas that uh, are present in this line. This line has scored very well for me uh, in online chess and in blitz chess. There are also lines uh, which you will face many times where black will play e6 and sort of shut this bishop in. And from here, um, play will usually go something like this, bishop d6 or, 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 or bishop to e7. We're not really going to go over the specifics here. Let's say, uh, well, bishop e7 here. Sort of like typical uh, development. We will go knight b2 or bishop d3. There's going to be castles, bishop d3, and b6 or c5. These sort of passive systems, uh, all passive but solid systems for black, classical systems. And from here, we can e either go c3 or knight e5. And we can sort of choose if you want to uh, stay solid with castles or if you want to go for an attack with like h4, h5 or g4. And we will go, I will give you alternatives in many lines where you can either stay solid or uh, play more aggressively. The London, even though it seems like it's rigid and uh, inflexible, actually you, you have a lot of choices uh, in which way you want to go in many, many variations. For instance, even here, if black goes for a quick c5, you can play e3, which is uh, most likely going to transpose to some lines with queen b6, but you can also uh, play an aggressive gambit here with e4, which is sort of like uh, the Alpen's counter gambit with colors reversed. So if we quickly go back, d4, d5, c4, e5, oops, c4 to e5, takes and d4, this is the Alpen's counter gambit. And basically we have this now with white, but with the bishop out on f5. So an extra tempo, which can be useful. So these are the d4 to d5 lines, uh, either with the bishop out to f5 or shutting it in with e6 and also uh, quick attacks with queen to b6. We will have to learn about this. Uh, there are also, of course, lines with knight to f6. And <coughs> One of my favorites is uh, when they go for a, a g6 here. We go bishop to f4, bishop g7, we go e3, and this is sort of the main line here, uh, bishop b2 or h3. Uh, it usually transposes, and in many lines the, uh, the move order isn't like hugely important. Um, but many people will play like this with a knight b to d7. They will castle, and they will very often play queen e8 with the idea to play e5. And this is sort of a typical London uh, line that that I really like. Uh, we will, in this case, go c4, allow e5, put the bishop back on h2. Um, usually, black is playing something like queen e7. We will play knight c3. And we absolutely love it when they play something like this, c6, and we uh, expand on the queen side. So this is like uh, a position with colors reversed from the king's Indian attack, except that we have this bishop out here. I will show you this line with, with colors reversed, and let's flip the board. Uh, e4, e6, uh, d3, d5, this is the king's Indian attack, knight to f6, knight g to f3, c5, g3, knight to here, bishop to g2, 
is it to e7, castles, castles, uh, rook e1, let's say b5 here, e5, knight d7, and queen e2. Um, this is very similar to what we just had, except this bishop here, it's now over here. And that's actually, if we uh, switch back to the London system, and swing the board over, that's actually very beneficial because the bishop stands very well here, helping us to expand on the queen side, and also a very important piece defending, and we have scored tremendously from, from the white side of this. Of course, black can also go for uh, setups with uh, with d5, which is more like a Grunfeld setup. We look at those, and more often than not, uh, Black will play sort of a uh, a ready type setup with c5, c3, and b6. This will, you will meet in a lot of your games, and you will get the middle game that's uh, where knowing the ideas is very important. And as always, you will be very solid, and you will have very little to worry about. Also, there will be some. Odds and ends. Uh, well, of, uh, of course, after knight f3 or bishop f4, uh, black can play e6, and most likely we will transpose to some sort of queen's Indian setup for black, or black can play for uh, as well uh, like c5, e3, and b6. So these are important setups as well. Very often black will set up like a hedgehog type setup. This is what I have played myself against uh, the London system with black. And I think uh, Christoph Zilecki uh, just explained has um, like it agitated for this uh, or recommended it for black. So a very serious uh, defense for black. We will have a look at these. Also some ideas of uh, early knight h5 or uh, unorthodox ideas for black. And these will deal with uh, also the Dutch, of course, we can play the London, and we will also deal with some odds and ends. But yeah, uh, that's sort of the overview of, of what we'll be looking at. And now I also want to show you some uh, some games, like, uh, you know, some uh, some typical quick attacks and some nice games to give you like a, a taste of uh, what the London system can be about. So before I, uh, well, leave you with a game that will hopefully uh, make you feel good about this opening, uh, I'm gonna show you some some cool traps, some typical ways that the black can easily go wrong uh, against the London. Some uh, typical ways uh, that you win internet games and uh, lower rated players. So let's have a look, d4. Uh, let's go for one of the uh, main lines here, uh, knight f6 c5, c3, knight to c6. And here we have a, a very typical way to uh, meet the London. Black immediately challenges the uh, bishop on f4. Uh, white retreats g3. And this is uh, one of the very uh, yeah, uh, cool traps that you'll find in the London. Here, uh, yeah, black was trying to organize the e5 break, now he challenges the knight, we take on d7, bishop takes d7, uh, queen takes d7 is actually the, the correct move, but now white takes on d6, takes on c5, and remarkably this is taken on c5, black is now close to lost because of this wonderful trap, bishop takes h7, king takes, queen h5 check, king g8, and knight to e4. Now the queen uh, is pinning uh, the deep pawn, so bad placement of the black queen. The queen has to move, and now knight to g5, and black uh, is suffering here and is actually probably just lost. This was the game uh, Kamsky and Shankland played in the US Championship, a very famous game. Uh, this is sort of yeah one of the typical ways that you can uh, get a quick win. Another. Uh, idea I had in mind uh, here was after uh, yeah c5 no it's uh, 
B6. Yeah, this one. Um, I'm not here, B6, yeah. So with E6, yeah, you, you leave the bishop in after knight F3. Bishop D6 is often played, but let's let's have a look at B6. The move orders are, aren't really important here. I'm, I'm just showing you a typical trap. And yeah, as you can see, white has been just following the London system moves. The bishop is out, minor pieces is out, are out, and very often this knight will, will jump into E5. And you will win many games like this. I have had so many countless games like this. Knight B to D7, cutting off the defense of this bishop. And now you have a very nice tactic. You can take on F7, hitting the queen and hitting the bishop. So we'll show you typical ways of, of using this. Another very cool trap happens after uh, knight to F6. Uh, c5 here e3 and b6 and so this is a typical way that black plays i like to play like this myself and here black has to be really careful because uh the normal looking move knight b to d7 runs into some trouble after knight to c4 now black has a very tempting move which is just to kick the knight away white is threatening maybe to take and then uh, maybe uh, jump with this knight into d6 so d5 looks natural, but now knight to e5, and it turns out that black is in heaps of trouble, especially because this bishop uh, to b5 check move uh, is very annoying, but the worst threat is simply knight to g5. In the game uh, we're showing here, black played c4 to prevent uh, bishop to b5 check, but knight g5, and black is crumbling. White didn't even take on f7 immediately, he took now and one in just uh, a few moves. So as you can see, many uh, tricky uh, traps and ideas that white can easily win with. So black always has to be careful against the London system, even though some people think it's uh, uh, not a very dangerous opening, but it certainly is. We're going to end this video with a very nice game played by Frank Marshall against Amos Byrne. And this was played uh, in 1907. Frank Marshall was uh, a very aggressive American player. And you might know about the Marshall attack, which is a very aggressive uh, opening uh, from the black side of the Rui Lopez. And of course, Marshall was the uh, founder of that opening. And yeah, uncorked it, for instance, against Capablanca, although unsuccessfully at first, but uh, yeah, he was the founder of this, this opening. But here he's playing the London system against Amos Byrne, who, who's going to get burned, I can promise you that. After d6, bishop to f4, knight b to d7, and typical London moves. Even in 1907, uh, this natural development was used by the creative, aggressive Frank Marshall. Black goes with g6, bishop d3, bishop to g7, and now knight b2, d2. Black castled. Usually uh, against King Cynthia's setup, we will have this bishop here, but it's interesting to have it here. Uh, Marshall now played h4. Usually we would play h3 here, but this is an interesting choice, and black would probably do best here to play h6, although white still has some attacking ideas. In the game, Amos Byrne played rook to e8, and this allowed Marshall to play a devastating attack. Now he played h5. Now using the fact that you haven't castled in many lines of the London, you can uh, postpone castling and actually go for this attack, both against these uh, Fianchetto King Cynthian setups, and especially uh, against setups with the pawn on d5 and pawn on e6. We will of course look at that uh, in the later videos. But after h5, Amos Byrne took on h5, and Marshall sacked the exchange, he took on h5. And note that we have many pieces here pointing at the king. We have the bishop, a nice, nice bishop here. This guy can jump into g5, and the queen is ready to join the attack. And this all led to bishop takes h7. Amos Byrne accepted the sacrifice, and after knight g5, he is in 
a world of hurt. The main problem is that the f7 point is very tender, so if you try to uh, run with the king to uh, g8, I would take on h5, and you would like to play here, but now I'm just taking, and probably I can just castle here and then bring the rook, and this game will be very quickly over. So Amos tried to make a run for it here with king g6, at least protecting the pawn here. But now uh, Marshall calmly brought another piece into the attack, knight d to f3. Black tried to, uh, to play e5 to activate some pieces in the defense, but it's not enough. Knight to h4. King to f6 and knight to h7. Notice that the knights are covering all these squares here. Very nice. The king has to move to e7 and now knight to f5. King has only one square, king to e6. And actually he could play d5 here as he did in the game. But first he took on g7, because why not? You can get the same position. King has to go to e7. Then you go back to f5 check. You have the same position and at least you got a piece if something goes wrong. But there's nothing going wrong here after king to e6. d5 check. King has to take. Queen takes a5, h5, and the king has to run. And a magnificent final move by Marshall. He castled queenside and they're simply... No defense against the threat of playing f3. Uh, checkmate. So yeah, a, a very nice game by, by Frank Marshall. And hopefully this, uh, even though it's not you know entirely correct and Black didn't defend very well, uh, it's typical of the kind of attacks you can get in the, in the London system. But sometimes you will get a quiet maneuvering game, but you will always be solid and there are chances to... Uh, to attack and go crazy so uh, i hope to see you in uh, future videos let's uh, yeah let's uh, uh, finish this introduction and see you in the next video on the london system bye bye